one year Buryat. How is the bow holding up? Welcome back everybody. Today I do a one year recap. I have this bow now since good a year. I did the last review in March last year. My first review of this bow when I got it from Peter Bogar. And today I want to shoot it and tell you how it feels after one year. I did not shoot the bow as often as I wished. I had it a few times on 3D parkour and I shot it a few times when I have courses and stuff like this. But as you know me, I'm always busy. I always get new bows, so I don't really have time to shoot one bow excessively. But today we shoot this one. As you remember, it's the Buryat from the it's kind of almost like a like a little manju with string bridges, more like a Jurchen. Has a nice handle, feels just nice. Black, this is 37 pounds at 28 inches. Draws 33 inches safe, max draw is 34 inches. Uh, price is 459, so 460 euros. Shipping free in Europe and to America and Canada, it's 90 euros for the shipping. So for a nice laminated bow like this, with these features, with this draw length, I think just fine. Let's shoot. Didn't shoot it now since a while, but we just see how it gets. The arrows are maybe a little too long. But let's see what it does at 33 inches, which would be here. <laughs> this is still... <laughs> has a little kick, obviously, like a manchu bow. But the draw is just nice. And the arrows go where you point. So cool. A bit longer draw is just such a nice thing. And yes, I don't care about the old feather, but I told it in a few years. So if you want to tell me something, I don't mind. Ah, now I have it. So took me five shots. Now I know again what the bow is doing. And this bow is doing fine. It has a little, doesn't vibrate much. You feel it a little, but of course you have a bit of a kick in your hand due to this massive string bridges here. But I don't mind. This bow is just a performer, what can I say? With these arrows, it just works. And I had it 3D a few times. Worked there pretty well too. The only thing I would do, because after two hours of shooting, my hand hurt a little due to the sand shock. The handle is small enough, so you could make a little thin leather wrap around it, and then this bow is a little more comfortable. This is the only modification I would do. For the rest, this bow is just awesome. It's fast enough. You can shoot whatever you want with it. It's just... 32 inches is already fine, 33 is awesome, and if you want you can draw this bow 34 inches. Everything in between is just... Mm. So if you find yourself in challenging situations, trust your Buryat. So easy with this bow. We challenging behind this branch. Let's see. Oh, scratched it. Now from this side. Works. Let's see a quite long distance shot. Diagonal through the garden back there. The bow is not too long. Ah, yes, sir. This just works. Longest distance in the garden back to the big bogar target. In front I have here some obstacles, so you need to take this into account. Ah yeah, Ooh, a bit wobbly, but it works. In Buryat we trust. And it's a beautiful bow. It's just... I mean, you either hate it or like it, but it's like an Assyrian design with string bridges, so that's just... <laughs>
can I say I didn't shoot this bow for a while, but after a few arrows this bow feels great again, so I know exactly what this bow is doing. You need to be careful with your release and you need to hold the bow relatively good in your hand to control it. But then it's working flawlessly. And 460 euros, free shipping in Europe. Fine by me. And you can do all your, you know, either you want to go now for Gao Ying or you want to do more the uh, Qing military version, Manchu version. You can do with it, you know, you stand like this. Fine too. So this bow delivers in any point, speed wise sound wise design wise the only thing this red is not so mine but i saw already that the head wants a different color which i like a lot it's more this brownish yellow and the only thing really for me as i don't wear a glove here and i don't need a glove here some need it but it's the other case uh, the bow starts hurting after a while so i would do a thin leather wrap around to have it a little more cushioned here. Then you still have enough room, as you see here. This handle is so small that my fingers touch. Unlike the bow I tested in the last video, where the handle was quite big and my fingers didn't touch here, they still touch, so I could opt for a little leather, in le uh, leather wrap around and it still would work just nice. But other than that, this bow is just performing nicely, lays good in the hand, there's nothing wiggling. Here it's stiff and here it's very stiff, so that's very good. And then the draw, you see there is not much slag and then it starts already. So first you have to overcome and then all of a sudden back there it's not. So the draw curve is really, really smooth going up, a beautiful bow. And if you want to go now long draw and you think about either the Buryat or maybe the Chinese bow, the Huyi, which one to get. I think the Huyi draws a bit longer and it's a non-contact sear bow, so the bow will have less of this kick in the hand. But other than that, I love both of them, but if I would have to decide I most probably would go with this one, so because this is just a fun bow. You can do a little torque or a little katra if you want to, you don't have to. This bow works with every style. Speaking of which, let's see, three fingers for horse arches. Yeah, but you need to draw a little more that you get the oomph out of this bow, so draw at least 32, 33 inches. Oh, and then this bow is just awesome.
And I almost forgot because people will again ask me today, I showed again the KTB glove, which I got from Freddy Archer. You can get them on different online shops. It's not the thickest protection here. You have a double layer of leather, which works okay. I wish this flap would be stitched on there so you can reload faster, but it is what it is and I wish it would be black or dark gray. It was this and I shot the arrows. These are the Tokala long, white by Niora, you can check them out, Niora.de. Klaus Schüssler has all these arrows up to 36 inches in different spines and weights and they are just nice and awesome to shoot. So thank you very much Klaus for existing, for making these wonderful arrows and you can have them with protector and you, you know with everything, just go on the website and go check it out. That's all, that's just a quick recap after one year of having this bow. Uh, as I said, I didn't shoot it for a while, but after a few arrows you get again the feeling of what this bow is doing. And this bow is performing very well, so it gives you feedback. You know what the bow is doing and you will hit your targets very quickly, very good with it. Just make sure you have the right arrows. I have mixed arrows, so it's a little trickier then with different spine and different length but you get a set of good arrows with it and then you are just rocking every 3D parkour with this one. As I said, the bow is not too long, so you can even maneuver in the bushes in, you know, it's, it's not a problem. So it's not, doesn't take away any fun in the forest, at least for me. So Peter Bogar, thank you very much for making these nice bows here in Europe so we can get directly a hand on it. 460 euros including shipping in the EU is fine by me and 90 shipping to America and Canada is I guess fine too. And for the rest it's a beautiful bow. Go check it out. They didn't ask me to do this review, they didn't pay me to do this review and they didn't tell me what I have to say in this review. <laughs> Disclaimer, so just so you know. It was just my idea because I saw it's now almost one year so I thought get it out of the basement, shoot it and let you still know what I think about this bow. It's an awesome bow and you really should check this bow out. Everybody who came here after this bow came out, shot the bow, ordered directly one or two because this bow is just incredible. You know, as I said, the design is like almost like an Assyrian bow, but then it has a string bridge and this is just like you mix Assyrian and Manchu, but in a way, with 33, 34 inch draw, it's just, it's just, it is just awesome. So, thank you very much, family Boga. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for sharing my videos. I catch you in the next one.